Hey everyone, welcome back to the Python Image Library module series. Um, I'm returning to this series after a long hiatus. Right now I'm on Windows, and that's kind of actually why I'm going to have to teach you what I'm teaching you now. I'm also very surprised I didn't end up showing this to you guys earlier in the series, but, I mean, there's a lot with this series that I'm just not happy with. So anyway, what I wanted to show you in this tutorial was the save function, which is super easy, super simple, and, uh, again, I really don't know why I didn't show it to you earlier, because it's kind of necessary for your image manipulation stuff, if you at least want to save your file and, and use it for later use. So, it's the image object that you've got created with the image library. You've opened something up, or you've created a new image, or anything. It's, it's really just your image object. And it's simply save. <laughs> like, that's it. That, that's the function. And it takes one argument, just the file name, um, typically you can pass the file name that you've opened it with if you want to overwrite the, you know, the file that you've been working with to begin with. But if you don't want to do this, change it to be whatever you want. Uh, like anything. PNG. Or .jpg. It's entirely up to you. Um, now, there's, there is an other, another argument for the mode. And you can supply this, uh, I don't know if it's a string or I don't know if it's a type. Um, you can probably find it online in the documentation if you Google that. I would encourage that, but actually, if you don't supply the mode, the image library will try and understand it based on the file extension that you save here. So if I did simply file name, and I'm going to actually prepend, um, like, modified to it, because I don't want to overwrite the file that I'm working with, and that's exactly it. Now when we run this, I've got, uh, on my desktop, modified pi.png, and the only reason that I wanted to actually show you this in this tutorial, whoa, was because, um, I can't run image.show under Windows. If I comment this out, now if I run this, it'll try and load it, and I don't think it'll actually ever get to it. So, that's why I wanted to hit the save button and at least show you the save function here. So, okay. Thanks for watching, guys. Super duper simple tutorial. Moving on to other stuff with the Python image library. But, gotta know this save function. Thanks, guys. See you in the next tutorial.